somebody in here, this is your sermon today. Here's what you got to understand. We have to learn what my mama taught me when I was a child. She said, son, make time for the things that are most important. I wish I had two or three witnesses right there. And beloved, let me help you with something here. The problem we have is too many times we try to fit God into our lives instead of fitting our lives around God. I don't need but three more amens right there and I'll make four. How many of you know, beloved, you will never have enough time to fit God into your life? But God will make time for you when you fit your life around God. I wish I had a witness here. And so what God has to do is God on purpose will allow us to go through some stuff that's necessary in order to get us to the place that God is trying to get us to go. Boy, have a witness here. That's why sometimes, beloved, he allows you to go through ailments and arthritis because it's necessary. Sometimes he'll let you go through bumps and bruises and let your back get a butt against the wall and let you experience some bursitis because it's necessary. Sometimes he let you get cancer. Sometimes he let you run into a cantankerous coat worker and a cutthroat cousin because it's necessary. Sometimes, beloved God, will let you experience divorce, let you go through some death, let you have diabetes, let you get hurt, let you get hung up, let you get hung in, let you go through problems, let you go through pain, let you go through some peril, let you go through some struggle, let you go through some trial, let you go through some tests, let you have some worries, let you have some wounds. How many of you know it's because it's necessary? Sometime to move you to where God wants you to be. But oh, beloved, when you get to that place, this is a good spot to shout right here, y'all. When God finally gets you to that place, how many of you know your testimony will change? Matter of fact, when you get there, you won't testify about what you heard. Let me talk to this side over here. But somebody over here know you can testify about what you know. Y'all moving slow too. Let me come back to y'all over here. When he gets you to that place, you don't testify about what you heard. But somebody here ought to pop up like popcorn and give God praise that you can testify about what you know. Is there anybody here that knows something about God? I know he's a healer. I know he's a way maker. I know he's a heart fixer. I know he's a tear dryer. I know he's bread when you're hungry. I know he's water when you're thirsty. I know he's a way out of no way. Is there anybody in the house that can give God praise that you know, that you know, that you know who he is? Shake somebody's hand and say, neighbor, it was necessary. Yeah. 